So this video is just going to go over all the basics if you want to start playing some blues bottleneck guitar. So the first thing is that you should probably start, if you want to start learning this style of music, playing finger style. And the reason for this is that when you actually play slide, oftentimes you've got the slide coming across all six strings. So that's oftentimes more strings that you're covering than you actually want to play at once. And oftentimes you'll want to have certain strings stop so that they don't clash with notes that you're about to play or you just don't want the excess noise entirely. And if you play finger style, it's a lot easier to mute the strings with your, the side of your palm and really importantly you get to mute strings with your fingertips. So it'll make for an, a lot cleaner of a sound and you'll find that most of the great guitarists play finger style if they play slide. Um, there's a lot of great YouTube videos and books if you want to learn this sort of style so it's it's not as difficult as it sounds. The next thing would be the type of slide that you use and personally I think that glass slides are the best. Players like Dwayne Allman, Derek Trucks, they use glass slides and they sound great. The nice thing about glass is that you've got a huge tonal range. In other words, you can play really um, sort of piercing or you can play warm. All depending on how you kind of um, compensate with your right and left hands, but you've got all the different options. I've got a brass slide here too. Brass is a little warmer sounding. I find that the tonal range of brass isn't quite as large as glass, but it's still a good choice. Um, there's also metal. I don't have an example of metal here, but metal is also a good choice. I've got an example of a bad choice though. This is ceramic. And It's a really dull sound. This company called Mudslide makes these slides. I wouldn't recommend them. Go with glass, metal, or brass. They're the best choices and historically they're the ones that every, all the great players have stuck with. Um, that kind of brings us maybe into tunings. The two most popular slide tunings would be Vesta Pool um, or Spanish. And if you were playing Robert Johnson, Charlie Patton, Willie Brown, most of the Delta Blues guitarists used Spanish tuning. The difference between Spanish and Vesta Pool is that with Spanish you get a low bottom string. So your root is actually the second string. But then you get that low fifth. The advantage of that is that you get to play really cool rhythmic sort of things that you wouldn't otherwise be able to play. So for example, Willie Brown. So you're playing more for the accompaniment than you are for the solo style. So you don't need a high string, you'd rather have a low string. The, uh, difference between this and Vestipole is that with Vestipole your root is your lowest string but you get a high string that you can maybe play better solos on. So Derek Trucks and Dwayne Allman they played open G Vestipole which allowed them to play awesome solos but players like Robert Johnson and Charlie Patton play Spanish because they can play cool sort of licks. <laughs> Um, really go well for what they want to play. So learn both. What you can do is learn licks that you know really well or even just um, little things like that and I actually kind of mess that up but little things like that like where you practice them at each register then you can go through all the major scales arpeggios, that thing, that sort of thing. Um, it isn't actually that difficult, so if you just spend maybe a few days, maybe a couple weeks on it, and start learning some songs after that, you should be well on your way to learning those tunings really well. Um, I guess the other thing might be, which finger should you play the slide on? And this is actually a really cool little debate. I think like this, I play 
ring finger for music like Blind Willie Johnson and if I try to play music like Derek Trucks because the ring finger I think is a really strong finger it's easy to play vibrato on and it's just got a lot of control because it's closer it's a little first I don't know I find that the muscles in the arm are a little more conducive to controlling the ring finger but if I'm playing Robert Johnson and that sort of thing where I've got to play the regular way as well as playing slide and switching back and forth really quick maybe in only one song then the pinky finger might be the better choice for you but there are players like Rory Block who can play awesome Robert Johnson with the slide on their ring finger but you'll notice that she for instance can't actually play the same chord shapes that you, you'll be able to play to more authentically match say Robert Johnson because you've got the three fingers that he had. So for example, whereas if you were playing with your third finger, you could only play these top two strings like Rory Block. So that sort of deal. Um, really, what I would recommend is you learn both and see which ones are work best for you for whatever song that you want to play. And I guess the final thing that I'll say is that make sure you listen to a lot of good slide music because the best thing that you can do for yourself more or just as well as learning all those things that I was talking about before is getting the music inside your head so that the sounds and getting the slides in between and all the little nuances come natural to yourself if you start listening to the music. So people like Ry Cooter, Blind Willie Johnson, Robert Johnson, Charlie Patton, Sunhouse, they're all the great people to listen to.